Welcome to our executive interview series at the Elastic Public Sector Summit presented by FedScoop. I'm Wyatt Cash and I'm here with Mark Maglin, Vice President of DOD Cybersecurity at ECS. Mark, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Uh, I'd like to start by asking, you know, given the exponential growth of AI in recent months, uh, how will that help public sector cybersecurity leaders more effectively identify anomalies across their IT ecosystems and also bolster their cyber defense posture? That's an excellent question there, Wyatt. It's really about uh, the data. It's all about the data. Um, and it's about knowing yourself, and but also knowing uh, your adversary and your enemy. So we've got a huge number of sensors and cybersecurity centers, uh, sensors and data throughout the uh, enterprise and the networks where we're collecting all this information. What we've tried to do in the past is kind of put all that into a data lake. We've uh, found that there's just too much data out there. So we've gone to a data mesh architect where we uh, query the data where it's at, and that's where the Elastic uh, cross-cluster search really helps out in uh, being able to uh, find our data, know our data, know where it's at, and be able to query that uh, where it sits. Uh, because uh, in that data lake uh, mantra, uh, it was too much data. By the time you collected the data that you need, it was time late, uh, and you didn't have a gold source of what was the most current data. So uh, especially in the uh, DOD enterprise um, with the small bandwidth pipes, uh, we like to uh, leave the data where it's being collected and then be able to go out and search that data uh, in real time to be able to bring back those analytics to do those uh, large language models and be able to use the uh, artificial intelligence as you, as you talked about to be able to do that. Um, so that's about uh, you know, just being able to query the data and being able to know yourself, but it's also about you know, knowing the adversary um, and that's where the cyber threat intelligence comes in. And being able to, uh, to share that and then cross correlate that intelligence with your cyber hygiene so that you know where your risks are, where your vulnerabilities are, and you can prioritize your resources towards those uh, 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 vulnerabilities and, and risks. So it's all about risk reduction. I appreciate that. And then um, how will robust search analytics platforms likely help agencies also address the growing nation state and criminal cyber threats that agencies are facing? Uh, sure, and that's again goes back to the sharing of cyber threat intelligence. I think it's, uh, uh, we've done a good job with organ single organizations to be able to uh, find that cyber threat intelligence, but we haven't really done a good job of sharing that cyber threat intelligence across organizations. And there's certainly uh, no shortage of commercial feeds that are being paid for that you can bring in to bring in cyber, cyber threat intelligence. But uh, what we really need to work on is being able to share in real time uh, newly uh, found indicators across our network and the context behind that, be able to collect that data uh, from the sensors to, of, of where that uh, attack or that anomalous activity is, is uh, occurring and share that across organizations. And I think that's going to be really the key to being able to defeat the, the cyber criminals. And uh, it's, the, it's a technical challenge, yes, but it's also a policy challenge. And that's one of the things that we've really struggled with. Um, the, the CISA just came out, or uh, SEC just came out with the uh, uh, ruling to be able to notify within four days. And I think that's going to be crucial because that's just the first step. What we really have to do is get organizations to be able to freely share threat indicators of ongoing attacks so that we can protect the society as a whole, right? And, and you crowdsource all that information and be able to uh, protect uh, everybody. Well, Mark Maglin, thank you for taking a few minutes to join us here at the Elastic Public Sector Summit. My pleasure, thanks.